Well, we'll sure find out. So that's uh, certainly something you can say about Okada's design in this game. It's clearly made to complement Victor, isn't it? You know, they did, they had the freedom to say, okay, we get to design a historical figure from complete scratch. Let's make him look kind of like Victor then, <laughs> but in a you know with enough differences that we can we can kind of show the difference, and that's. Well, that's what we got, and it's it's a nice blend, all things considered. I like it. Let's uh, swap Faye out for... Let's put Gabby here. Oh, by long, you're, you're still involved. Right, uh, Wan Lee gets, gets a chance. Kind of odd, actually, that we didn't use Wan Lee in the last chapter, considering he's, his name has such Chinese origins. But, I mean, uh, well, everyone here has a bit of J Japanese in them, if you look at a different canon, so that's fine. We've got to fill the advanced gauge, and we get to do that using Okita. I'm going to armify him as well, just so that we can actively get him involved without worrying too much about stamina and the likes. Here he goes! That's the one. All right, take the ball, and let's run for it without... Getting too close to Zanuck, please. <laughs> oh, Wildfire Firebird, we're playing the wrong game. This is Thunder Flash, remember? Take the ball, that's it. Get back to your own game, please. There's certainly not a spirit called Thunder Flash, I can tell you that. Uh, so Seal Matrix, we might as well chuck in there. But um, yes, so the point is Chrysanthemum K is a shooting move. What with Okita Soji being the lightning fast striker and whatnot. So let's see exactly how that looks. The answer is absolutely stunning. I love that move. It's brilliant. And it's going to get us a goal, please. Yes, that's right. Chrysanthemum Katana. We didn't get to find out the full name until we used it in practice. But clearly the power of Okita. Very good one. Go! Blade gets the ball in the back of the net effortlessly with the help of a new special move. We did it, Okita. Well, I knew he was the greatest swordsman in the Shinsengami. Figures he'd be good. Yeah, you definitely say that, but also at the same time, with Victor being such an important member of uh, the story, I was very surprised that he was kind of put off to one side in what really is meant to be Roma's chapter, because we've certainly spent more time with Rioma, and Victor's the guy on the side who gets the somewhat less important Mixy Max, even though it's the one we're going to be using by far the most going forwards. They're better than they were in the first half. That one guy turned the whole match around? Well, I'll just have to show them the true power of Xanarch's domain. Ah, oh, not again. Trick, huh? Let's test it out. 
And here comes the second one. We can now mix and match with Sakamoto. We've only been here for three episodes and we've already got two Mixy Maxes out of it. That is certainly efficient. And we will attempt to use Black Tide Ride basically immediately. 45 TP to be consumed, so not the worst, all things considered. Still plenty powerful. It's very similar, actually, to Rising Dragon that he had in his level up moveset last time, but this time with a big water effect as well. How about that? Double the Ryoma, double the skill. Booyah! Yeah, I'm so happy for you. Kind of weird, actually. That's the first Ryoma line that I've gotten to voice in this entire episode that's supposed to be about him getting a Mixy Max. Uh, remember what's important, lads. All right, so he's not going to have enough uh, the TP on deck to use a shooting move, but, you know, I could bring out Brave Samurai Masashi again, but let's just go for a normal shot. All we've got to do at the end of the day is fill the advance gauge. We're winning this match 2-0. I'm kind of surprised that the other guys haven't gotten a goal by now because they were very, very threatening in China. And this time they actually over-level us, unlike last time. We over-leveled them significantly before. So it's kind of weird how this has suddenly been a bit of a big step down in difficulty. But uh, there goes that's just the fighting spirit. We've still got a bit more... Sokita. I keep saying Sokita OG. That is not correct. OG so No, I've done it wrong again. <laughs> Can you stop? Um, no more fighting spirits. Anyway, I still haven't said it, by the way. Soji Okita. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it is kind of an interesting choice for someone to mix and match with. I certainly understand the significance of... Ryoma Sakamoto, like, there's, there's plenty documented on that guy, and it's, especially for a Japanese audience, that's all very interesting stuff. Uh, OG Sok... So Purple hair guy is, um, it does feel like they've just thrown him in for the sake of having a second guy in the chapter. He does seem decidedly a bit less important. Still a very important historical figure, of course, he is the genuine captain of the Shinsengami, and Goldie's shot got blocked by a difference of one power. Wow. If that move was even one power stronger, i.e. if I wasn't underleveled, then that would have gone in. It's been a close game, but there's no way we're gonna lose it. This isn't for those old geezers at El Dorado. My pride's resting on this match. Of course it is. That's what football's all about. Don't even think about Out the two amigos here, both with sweet, tricked out armified fighting spirits. It's anyone's game. And yeah, don't forget about that. We have not armified a fighting spirit in quite a long time now. Bylon can't do it, Gabby can't do it, and the last one we kind of did was, I think, JP. But finally, Musashi can be armified, and we will be using that to take on Zodiac. Acrobatic Keep almost looks too, um, too unfitting for, for the animation we just saw, but, I mean, look at the design. He even gets, like, a beetle's horn on top of his head, and it allows him to use Katana Kick, of course, extremely strong. I have no doubt that this will be going in the goal. I hope I haven't jinxed it, but no, I will be doing easy peasy lemon squeezy. Thank you, Goldie, for that one. Go! Nishiki celebrates his new armified fighting spirit with a swift goal. Well, Zanark, what do you think of that? Pretty good for a plebeian. Kind of weird seeing that those two are almost the same height in that particular shot, because Zanark is certainly meant to overscale everyone involved. He's, he's one of the tallest guys in Inazuma 11 history. Oh, hello, we've still got... Soji, Okita, getting involved with a critical sliding tackle. I swear, how have I messed it up so many times? 
I, I genuinely don't understand this. It's not that hard. But, yeah, so, actually, his stamina is lasting quite a long way, all things considered. We're just going to have the ball taken from us in instead. Not like Chugali Yang's Mixy Max, which goes away after about 10 seconds. Finally, Ryoma Sakamoto getting involved. Please take the ball. Show that you're not dead weight. There we go. Ryoma Sakamoto, let's go for go Excuse me. Tanak. We're going for goal, not with the Mixy Max Sakamoto, but the real Sakamoto. Let's go. He is a midfielder. His kickstart must be at least somewhat okay. Hurrah! 38 power. Yeah, well, he's, he's not meant to be a footballer, but I respect that he took part anyway and then gave his power where needed to Ryoma the you know, our one. It's, um, that certainly w works a little better in Japanese where it is just Ryoma and Ryoma. And now it's Ryoma and Roma and they must kind of regret in the localization team ever taking the Y out of his name because then this would have made just a tad more sense. But anyway, easy breezy. Nope, spy drill. We've got to evacuate the building. It's on fire. And then, uh, yeah, well, that got me out of math class nice and easy. Deary me, I mean, I used to be okay with fire drills back in school if it got me a bit of time off, but then when you start to live in a flat or a, an office that has scheduled fire alarms go off every, like, Wednesday at 11 o'clock, or even worse, uh, uh, directly above your bed every Friday at 10 a.m., yeah, thanks for that one, student living. I really didn't want to sleep in on my three-day weekend. Nope, not at all. Um, yeah, so, uh, the moral of the story, if you hear a fire alarm go off, get out. <laughs> Save yourself. Don't mix up with the Shinsengami either, they'll probably try to slay you. That is probably one problem I have with this chapter. I think Okuto was just a bit easily convinced. Like he spent his entire life believing that the Shinsengami is, is the right thing. And then we, Victor just kind of told him, I can see the future. And then he's like, oh, guess he's right then. I really have been wrong this whole time. Going to change my ways and help this, uh, help stop this team that I'm currently playing for. Just to help the other guys in defending Japan because they say that they will do. But it's, you know, <laughs> how else were we going to mix him max with him? Oh, can we really have been beaten? Booyah! Now that feels good. And get some level ups on deck. Have we got any moves? We've got the Inferno ticket too. Yep, Acrobatic Keep on Kaiser. And Ozone Flare on Faye. That's more important. That's a defensive move. And that's like a final whistle. Ryman takes home the victory. Nice one, guys. We lost? Oh well, you win some, you lose some. I knew you'd say that. Okay, don't push it. Now lift the football ban. And give back Coach Evans. Coach Evans? That's this sparkly little thing, right? It, is it? That's a chrono stone. Yep, ciao! Huh? Huh? No, stop, wait! Uh. Now fulfill your promise. Open the country. Very well. I have no choice, do I? My lord, come. Now we will finally have some peace. Yes, just as I planned. Opening Japan to the world was inevitable. There was no way we could hold it off much longer. And to be honest, I would quite like to survive this era. And this way, they can imagine they've owned a throne as themselves. <laughs> he didn't seem that sad to have lost. But history tells us this is the end of his reign. He's going to basically disappear from public life from now on. So the Shogun's pretty much out of the picture. Wow, it's the end of an era. Literally. This is incredible. Now we can start to build a new Japan. 
So Japan's going to change forever. <sighs> what a night! It's not every day you get to celebrate the dawn of a new era! They really spared no expenses for the party. Thanks for inviting us. We really enjoyed it. And on that note, it's probably best we make a move back to our own time. Back to the TM bus. And there we go. Well, let's at least have a slow departure from Kyoto, which I don't actually think even specifies that it is Kyoto, by the way. There's a nice golden chest over there for, for another time. Yeah, like, we've been in Kyoto the, the entire time. I think it maybe says it when you very first arrive. And otherwise, you're just kind of told it's Shogunate Japan, and you've got to work that out for yourself. And fair enough, if you're the original Japanese audience, then that's probably immediately obvious to everyone. But, uh, you know, us in the other side of the world, maybe not quite as much, but it is still visibly Kyoto. Like, we've all played Pokemon Heart Gold. We've all been to Kyoto in Inazuma 11 too. I'm sure we can kind of recognize what it looks like by now. Let's check the inner link. Plenty to read over here. Jade no fighting. Yeah, it's kind of a shame that actually Jade wasn't really involved with the last match at all because this was kind of her chapter and she was very much involved when we were split off on Victor's side of things with exploring. And again, here she is in the blog, but during the actual match, she didn't say anything and only said, Well done, guys! just once after we beat them. Probably because she had to, like, come to the realisation that, oh, I've actually kind of been back in the wrong guy, haven't I? Been back in this Suji Okita, and actually he's kind of sticking up for the wrong side. But, well, he came to his senses in the end. We got his powers onto Victor, which does indeed make him a very, very mean striker indeed. It is, like I was saying before, a bit of a shame that Victor doesn't get his own dedicated chapter because I think he's plenty important enough of a character to deserve one but well we, we got what we got the the similarities to uh, Vladimir is certainly understandable so and he still hasn't found his towel that was it just one new message to say it has blue stripes on it yep all right so no souvenirs coming back from Shogun at Japan. Well, it's not Shogun at Japan anymore. As of this morning, it's like not and stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, different, a new era. Like, unfortunately, the only thing I can kind of compare it to in my mind was was uh, when I stayed up all night watching the Brexit election, and then the, all the news channels were like, "Welcome, it's 6 a.m. This is the morning of a new era, where." The things will be different and stuff and I was like uh, yay well that's um, that's a nice shot of the riverside at least look north thank you for that one all right so before we get political <laughs> uh, so YouTube made for kids no 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 we're not going anywhere anywhere right let's just let's just get out of here <laughs> there's a couple changes in dialogue to reflect the fact that we've been to the party and that the Shogun and the Shinsengami has been relinquished but uh, you know generally dialogue is there for you guys at home to explore I do know that at least a few people have been playing along and that always makes me happy to learn and then it makes me feel bad that I can't kind of release videos quickly enough to make your playthroughs kind of uh, fluent as they were but um, but hey it always it's always good to know and no, I'm playing along with my own Let's Play. That's the point of Wildfire. All right, I won't explore the north side. Let's just hop in the bus. You're leaving already? Yeah, we've still got a lot on our plate. I understand. I just wanted to thank you for everything we managed to accomplish. It wouldn't have happened without you. We've only just started to teach you modern day slang. I'm sure I'll pick it up somewhere. I've got dozens of places I want to visit. I've, I'm an aficionado of foreign languages, but I've never met anyone I could use them with. But now I'll be allowed to cross the sea. I can talk to everyone. Nice. 
And you, you're going to be a great man. Not everyone is great enough to help their enemies. Just don't help too many enemies. I learnt it from you. I hope it's a two-way thing. If I've been able to teach you anything, I'll be glad. Even if it's just my devil-may-care sense of humour. <laughs> There's something else I've picked up from you. I'm going to play football every day. Don't think I've forgotten the photo you showed me. If that fighting fit young buck is my future, then bring it on. Booyah! I don't know how I can thank you enough. You'll help me protect something I love. As long as my gift will be useful to you, it's me who should be thanking you. What? I was in such a hurry to make my mark on history, to leave proof that I had been alive. But you reminded me that there are more important things than that. Such as? Well, more important proof of your life is living and thanks to you i felt really alive i haven't felt that in a long time i'd forgotten how it feels i'm glad come along team we really have to go let's say a cue later rioma bye oh wait roma take this has changed in just one night and things will only change more from now on I dare say you're right there ah the sun's rising it's beautiful this is the dawn of a new Japan What's going on? That guy seemed to really want that stone. And that power of mine. I don't like it. <laughs> Figures, you don't understand what you're truly capable of with those powers. Excuse me? <laughs> you don't know anything about me and my powers. <laughs> On the contrary, I'm blessed with pretty much the same talents as you. What do you mean? Welcome, friend. Starting today, you get to be a part of New Gen. Arians for more order. Tip number seven, skills. Skills are easy to overlook. can learn up to two skills, but with mix and match you can get up to four. That's loads! If you find someone with a really great skill, you can always mix and mix them with one of your main players so they can use it. 